Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wake Up Report. And this is how this scenario played out in uh, my mind. Um, one dumb Negro watches TV and he sees on the news that another dumb Negro killed two nuns in Mississippi. Well, that dumb Negro says, well, you know something? I think I can outdo what that dumb Negro did. And that's exactly what this dumb simp nig did. Cadman County, New Jersey, uh, Mr. Zachary Tricoche, if I'm pronouncing that right, or Tree Coche, got into an argument with his girlfriend over some groceries that he probably did not buy in probably her house um, that she's paying the rent and probably the gas and electricity and everything else. He shoves his girlfriend and her um, two-year-old son, like I would imagine any uh, young child, if you see your mother get shoved uh, by another man, well, he steps in to um, uh, stop the man from uh, shoving his mother. What did this 24-year-old 90s baby do to a real baby? Well, he punches a two-year-old so hard that he sends him flying across the room into a wall. But oh no, he didn't stop there. After that, he tells the kid to put his hands up, meaning that um, uh, he wanted him to form a, a boxing stance or a fighting stance. If you're going to fight me, then you're going to have to learn how to fight the right way. I don't know if the boy put his hands up or not, but um, this sack of crap hit this boy again. As a result of him hitting him a second time, the two-year-old strikes, his head hits the wall and he's knocked unconscious. Both punches were to the boy's, uh, I guess his lower body, his uh, torso. Well, the mother now calls 911 and she's frantic. You know, my child is unconscious. He won't wake up. I guess they take the boy to the hospital at, uh, some, t at some point, but kid didn't make it. So I, I don't know if they got him to the hospital. I, well, they, they did eventually get him to the hospital. Uh, but he died about 30 minutes after his mother placed the 911 uh, phone call. And of course, you know, Mr. Uh, uh, Tricochi is uh, on his way to jail. He's been charged. I believe it is um, first degree murder. And uh, yeah, I tell you something, man, you know, prison sex for black men must be the bomb. You know, they must love it because black men just, no matter what you do, they just can't seem to not uh, go to jail. They just can't seem to do uh, whatever it is you're supposed to do to stay out of prison. They love going to prison for some reason. But um, obviously, um, it would be a uh, good, well, not, not a good, uh, it, it would be obvious to um, attack this savage I could call him all kinds of names I could do this I could do that but I'm not going to do that I think um, what the focus point of uh, this commentary should be should be towards women and uh, to that I say for all you women out there who have uh, these boyfriends who have these uh, live in uh, uh, children grown children that uh, you guys apparently don't mind taking care of stop having strange men around your children if uh it is your boyfriend to me that's still a strange man if you are not uh you know and i'm not saying that being engaged or being in a relationship is going to uh be the end all of this because it could still happen but the best thing you can do for your child especially if you're a, a, a single woman is uh keep uh men at arm's length away from your children now I've dated women with children before and uh, what I always tell them is you know until we get our act together till we find out if uh, we're gonna you know be together for uh, uh, any length of time we got to get to know each other first you know I, I'm, I don't bring and I love kids but you know don't bring your kids around me your children should not see me until we have our act together because um, it is not right to uh, go in and out of a child's life, be it a boy or be it a girl. What that child is watching by way of what the parents and the uh, boyfriend or I don't know, the girlfriend uh, uh, is doing is especially if the relationships don't last. 
Well, what you're teaching your children is to accept the fact that if you're a young little boy, then men just float in and out of your mother's life. And that becomes the uh, standard mode of operation for that boy. If it's a girl, same thing. You're teaching your daughter that men are just there to float in and out of your mother's life to sleep with your mother uh, uh, probably live off of your mother uh, I'm going to take a stretch and say wherever they were living she was probably paying the majority of the rent she was probably uh, uh, paying the electric bills or paying the gas bills she was probably buying most of the food that this simp nig was eating up um, so it, 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 if the man is not contributing by way of a relationship, by way of look. And, and I know this, this may sound, you know, I, I, I don't know if it sounds strange or not, but I was dating this girl once, right? And, uh, you know, she wanted to go out to dinner, uh, which I didn't mind. So, um, but what I did was I says, well, look, you know, we're going to go out to, to dinner. We're going to eat. And um, what's it going to cost us maybe? Almost a hundred bucks, something like that to go out. So um, we could either go out, spend that money at a restaurant, you know, you ain't eat and whatever. Or I just give you the hundred dollars. You know, you take that money. You can, I don't know, you go shopping with it. You pay a bill with it. You could do something uh, useful with the money. And um, I, I don't, I don't know if she took it. Like, you know, like I wasn't trying to do like a this like prostitution kind of thing or anything like that. But no, I'm I'm just practical, you know. And I'm like, well, why spend a hundred dollars at a restaurant when look, we could get something to eat for 25 out of that 100 you take the 75 and do what you want to do you know or, or you know we can do whatever um if a man is not contributing if he is not paying any bills if he is not footing any of the grocery bills if he's not footing any of the gas bills whatever women i date I always make sure you know if i'm not driving and they're driving then i pay for the gas or i pay on the maintenance uh, for that car so you can't say that I did not contribute uh, in some way, shape, or form. And to me, that helps, number one, it, it really lets you know what type of person you are dealing with. And number two, it kind of keeps the playing field level. But you keep the children out of it. You should not have men around your children. And it's not that uh, uh, all men are scumbags like this. But, you know, you just don't know these days especially with these 90s babies you just don't know they'll flip at any second i just don't understand how is it that you punch a two-year-old child and then you want the child to fight you some more what is going on in your mind you know other than black lives don't really matter you know ladies um you know i know uh you know if, you, if you're only out so you split up with your baby's daddy or something like that and you got to continue to go on with relationships and things like that you know and, and vice versa you know it may be men they may have their daughters and things like that don't bring don't bring strange women around your daughter don't bring strange men or women around your kids period that is just absolutely something that you cannot take back once you once you do this kind of damage to a child you know, uh, and, and whether the child dies as a result of it or the child gets uh, psychologically damaged, physically damaged or something like that. You know, that's something that you can't take back. I hope somebody challenges this piece of trash to a fight in jail where they punch him in his torso so hard that he slams up against the wall and then punch him again so he cracks his head up against the wall or something like that. It's absolutely disgusting. And um, hey, you know, like I said, man, Keep people at arm's length when it comes to your children because you never know who you're dealing with until these suckers flip over some groceries or something like that. This is KTM and the Wake Up Report saying think a little bit. It will do wonders for you.